Hey guys, I'm Jacqueline, and, I'm Marcella. and we want to talk to you about a book that just recently came out called Credence by Penelope Douglas. So on our channel, we want to start incorporating more. Obviously, you guys know book videos. It's a huge priority for us going into the new year. Mm -hmm. And so we figured we would start trying some reviews. Not like, I don't think we're going to do like that many. But yeah, like, I think the majority of our book videos are going to be like other. Like recommendations yeah, and stuff like that. But not so much reviews. Just because a lot of times we don't read the same books in a yeah. month. But we just happened to both read this book. <laughs> it just came out, and we are uh, big Penelope Douglas fans. Like, yes. she's just pushes the limit every release. And, she does. Every, and you just want to know what she's going to do next, because she's just so, so good to read, too. Like, her books are so addicting. She has a way and... of writing certain things that, like... Yeah. I feel like many authors wouldn't be able to mm -hmm. to do as well as she does. Yeah. But we both finished this book, like, relatively, like, quick. I think I read it in, like, two, three days. And it was, like, really big. Yeah, it's over but... 400 pages. And I think I read it in, like, two days. Yeah, it's a very fast-paced yeah. book. And it's very addicting. All of her books are. But we read this when it first came out. And we're still thinking about it weeks later. So that tells you something about this yeah. book. Um, basically, like... The premise is we have this girl who is turning 18 and her parents are like these super famous celebrities but they're so involved in each other that they kind of forgot about her yeah. when she was a kid. It's very sad, um, her yeah. ba the backstory with her because she was neglected like most of her life because her parents are so into themselves and their relationship and like their marriage that mm -hmm. they kind of like don't they kind of have a kid just to have a kid and then realize yeah. that like they don't want they don't really want to actually be a parent because they're too yeah. into each other that they don't really have they don't really want to like incorporate her into their life and stuff like that so she ends up really being taken care of by like nannies and stuff like that yeah. so yeah, and that way she wasn't, like, involved in, like, her parents weren't really involved in her life like that. Yeah, so she does have that, I think, like, internally she that does emptiness. feel that need to yeah. have a family and to know what that's like. And so the beginning of the book, it starts with, um, it's in Tiernan's point of view, that's our main character, and she... Um, she loses both of her parents, so it ends up her dad had cancer and he, he was sick and she didn't even know that he was sick and her mom basically commits suicide and they both die and they both end up like leaving her and it starts, it's like really sad at the beginning. It's a very dreary book in a way. Like Tiernan is such an empty character at first and that's why her development was so good because her oh, yeah. progression from the beginning to like the end like you don't feel like anything towards her really in the beginning like she's a very she has she has a lot of internal struggles because yeah. she you know she doesn't really know what like she's living for in a way she's very like she's just like a shell yeah i would describe her as because yeah. she doesn't have that like she doesn't really know how to ha like how to have relationships with people yeah i feel like because she's been so alone Mm -hmm. in her life so she doesn't really know how to do that and like it's very weird for her like eventually she ends up um you know she her uncle uncle her step uncle yeah so it, it's not blood related there's no incest. there's no incest <laughs> it ends up being like her step uncle is not really her real uncle but mm -hmm. he ends up getting custody of her but just for a little while because Until again she again 18. she is turning 18 soon so she ends up making the decision to go there because she wants she's sick of looking at her surroundings and mm. you know she wants to be out of that house because of everything that happened so she ends up going there and we meet jake who is her step uncle and then yeah. we, he has two sons caleb and noah caleb and noah and they live in the mountains basically it's like this it has small a very twilight town. feel yes yeah. i felt like it kind of was like it's like it looks like that kind of it everyone's planning for the snow big snow storms are coming it takes place in colorado right like the colorado mountains and mm -hmm. so she moves into this huge house and because they're like stocking up for the winter where they get snowed in and when they're up in that mountain in those cabins they can't get out like once they're in there for the winter they are in that house for the entire yeah they winter. basically don't leave and it's like so they're very secluded like there's no like 
it's basically like their house and then it's like, like a, town. a town but like that town you have to like travel to it's like a little bit away so yeah. it's like you can't even get to the town when like you're snowed in like it's just <laughs> you're there yes and then because of that we have a lot of time with these characters so i will say this book is very very character driven it is there is obviously some plot because you can't have a book without plot and conflict so they get it is, is very that. it is character but it's driven very very sure. character driven because every single person in this house all of the brothers and jake as well they're all there's issues they each have their own problems like they have their own struggles that they're also dealing with and having Tiernan come and be with them it's basically a way for all of them to grow and mm -hmm, for exactly. there's development in each of them and I think that's what Penelope Douglas does so so well is her development in characters like mm -hmm. she took an empty shell like Tiernan and she made her made her like sympathetic to us and we she ends up like finding out who she is and what she likes to do and who she wants to be in this world especially mm -hmm. because of like who her parents were like she has like this world she finds a there. way to fill that emptiness yes and they end up yeah. like there is she, find, okay, she, she <laughs> okay. finds ways to fill that emptiness there's many ways that she fills that emptiness <laughs> If you're not comfortable reading, if you're not comfortable reading explicit smut, smut like I'm, ta I'm not talking like I'm talking like explicit, detailed smut. Like if you're not comfortable with that, this book is not for you. Unfortunately, no. it's not for everybody. I would say yeah. I think that it's something that you're gonna read and you might n not know how you feel about it. At no, first. honestly, um, when I was reading it, I had no idea how I felt about it. But for some reason, but, like, I couldn't you kept put it going. down. That's the whole thing. Is like you're like, oh my god, like, what is what going is this? on? But you're like, like, I need to keep going. If and I, I why do I like this? Why like, do I like? <laughs> it's just yeah. Yeah. So, like, if any other author had written this book... I'm not sure. I don't I think would've I would have liked it. I would have been I feel like this. Penelope Douglas has a way of writing messed up situations and, and making it good. And making it, like, understandable and, like, likable. It's I so... Mean, I don't know. Listen, it's not as dark as, like, the as like her Devil's Night series. That's on, like, a whole different ballgame, I think. Like, however... This is more like I would say taboo. It than is taboo. Devil's Night. I feel like that's more like kinky. Yeah, but in the, a way, yeah. that's more right. Yeah, I and think this is more like this is it's forbidden. Just different. I guess it's different, but I'm talking like darkness level. Like it's not like it's it's not like that bad and like that dark and taboo. Like, but there is instances where she does end up having. I'm just gonna tell you, she's gonna have sexual relationships with each of the characters in this book. Basically, all of the men. There is sexual interaction with all three, and so you don't know who she's going to end up with. You know that you have your hero and your heroine in a romance novel. So who is she? Who is the hero technically in this? Uh, but book? you have the whole thing is though she yeah. needs to. She goes through each character, like, there's relations with each character like that because mm -hmm. it's important for her to grow as a character yeah. and for her to know, like, what she wants. I mean, obviously, we don't want to give you guys too many, like, heavy spoilers about, like, what their relationships are going to be like or, like, too much about that because we want you to just read it and find out for yourself. But do be wary going into this. Though. Yeah, do be, <laughs> just be aware that there there is going to be some scenes that you know there's some questionable scenes there's yeah. one in particular that i'm really concerned about some people reading because there is consent like she penelope douglas she writes a lot of like dubious consent i guess like so there it's is questionable it's, it's very it, questionable. it's on that line of like not is it is it consensual is it not she straddles that line in this book a lot a lot so if you're triggered by anything like that then you should i would just her. stay away from this if you're not comfortable with like really really crazy sexual content in books like that where it's so like out there like and it's like really really <laughs> just a lot a lot <laughs> to handle i wouldn't read this <laughs> if i were you um i mean i really like I really, I really like that We love this book. book in the end. In the end, we both gave this five stars. Yeah, in the end, I mean, this book, I, mean, I really loved it. I loved how all the characters grew, and um, yeah. I really just liked all of the relationships. I really loved all of the characters. I think um, 
Noah was Noah. probably my favorite. <laughs> we really loved Noah and Caleb, the brothers specifically. Mm -hmm. We really liked those two. And Jake, he kind of creeped us out, not gonna lie. Like, for me, like, I felt like, like, I was, like, into that, but, like, it was kind of... I was more into the brothers. I thought yeah. the brothers, I was more, like, I felt more of a connection with Tiernan and the brothers than I did with Jake, even though... It was, like, understandable what was going yes. on, but, like... Yeah, yeah, it's a lot this book and I would say when you get to like the 50% mark Once they get, like, once once they they get, get snowed in, in <laughs> shit gets crazy guys like be prepared when they get snowed in cuz Wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow is all I have to say Yeah, but we are big uh, fans of Penelope Douglas every book I've read by her I've loved and I just think that she I'm she, excited to read another one by her, but I need a little bit of time. First. Yeah, I, I think she just is so good at keeping her readers, like, on their feet. Like, you never know what you're going to expect, like, to expect mm -hmm. the unexpected from her. Yeah. But she's a really great author. We also do recommend her Devil's Night series, and Punk 57 Punk is 57 one of, was like, great. my favorites. Yeah. I love that book so much. And, yeah, those are all we've read by her. We really need to read Birthday Girl. I think that's, like, the next Penelope Jones yeah. book I need to read. I don't know why I haven't read that mm -hmm. one, like, that one. But, like, after reading this, I kind of, like, need a second. Cause yeah, I don't think I could so... read two of her books back to back. I definitely need to. I had to Lots. read, like, R.S. Gray after. I had to read, like, a romantic comedy. Yeah, I'm reading R.S. <laughs> Gray right now, too. <laughs> like, it's a lot, her books. But, yeah, this one was a great book. We just wanted to come on here and tell you guys about it because yes. we do think that you guys should go get it. Let us know if you guys would like any other uh, future book videos, like, if you have any recommendations, anything that you would really, really like to see. We're going to probably do wrap-ups, like, at the end of the month. But anything yeah. else, recommend for us below. Yeah, I think maybe maybe like a few, if once a month or like a few times a month, maybe we'll try to like read the same book so we could do a review on it. Like maybe we Yeah, this try month to do we that. read two of the same book, so yeah. we'll try to do that more often. Yeah, we definitely will because like we said on our channel we want to uh merge more into like book videos cuz that's like that's what we really came on to YouTube to do. And then Yeah, if you guys didn't know, our YouTube channel started from doing book videos yeah. and then we kind of you know, we went off and did more like TV show stuff because that was really what we, we were doing. We're doing, yeah. and then more people like recommended us doing more of that, so we just kept doing that, and we mm -hmm. kind of like stopped doing so much book videos, which was sad for us because we love to read. Yeah, so books we would so, like to get yeah. back to that, I think, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, books are such a huge part of our lives. Like all we yeah. do is really like. I think we also kind of miss doing it because yeah. um there's it's different when we're talking to you guys like this mm -hmm. and then when we're sitting here and watching tv it's different because we're not really ta interacting with you guys we're just reacting to something that's on a television so it's like mm -hmm. fun and stuff and we love doing those and like talking about tv mm -hmm. shows and stuff but this is more like personal because it's like we're actually talking yeah. to like the camera and i think it's a fun way to find other readers who are also like big like romance reader fans yeah. and yeah we um you know we do have a bookstagram that we want to start using again as well so hopefully like through the new year we're gonna start putting out more book videos for you guys yeah so let us know what books you guys are reading and what you recommend down below and you can also check out our social media which is in the description thank you for watching, for watching. bye